so I could live my life set free. Jesus, I stand before you righteous, and I boldly declare, your blood has redeemed me. You made a way for me to come in boldly to your presence. You were the sacrifice, you paid a heavy price so I could live my life set free. you love me through it all you lead me and you guide me wherever I go I know that you keep me Jesus my King your blood has redeemed me oh your blood has restored me Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We stand by the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And Jesus' blood, like this song said, has brought us redemption, has brought us healing, and has restored us, has forgiven our sins. Yes. Wow, that's a lot that the blood has done for that's us. That's a lot. The blood of Jesus. And we've been talking about healing is God's will. Mm. And if you've never known that healing belongs to you, you can know that today. God's blood has healed us. Yeah. It has restored us. Mm. Yeah, let's uh, continue on where we left off. We and established then, yeah. some truths in the previous episode mm. that, you know, it is God's will for us to be healed. It is. And Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. That means His healing is the same. That means it has not changed. Yeah. It was not only for 2,000 years ago. Yeah. It's right for today. And that He is no respecter of persons. Exactly. No matter who you are, healing is for you. That's right. And, you know, last time we saw, you know, the leper 
who had no idea whether Jesus wanted to heal him. Mm. He said, if you will, you can heal me. And Jesus first established the fact that it is his will to heal. Mm. And then he said, be clean. And then we look through some other scriptures talking about the healing power of God. You know, when Jesus was on this earth, wherever he went, he was healing people and mm. bringing life to people. That's what I love about mm. Jesus. You know, and he gives our life back together. And uh, we also saw that it is God's desire for us to be mm. healed. You know, right. in Third John 2, it says that he desires that mm. above all things, we prosper and be in health. Right. And today we're going to kind of look about um, in terms of the blood of Jesus. You know, the blood of Jesus was so important on the cross of Calvary. You know, the cross kind of, um, it signifies criminals who were hanged there because of something wrong that they did. And Jesus, they looked at him as a criminal, mm. but he was really not a criminal on the cross. He was shedding his blood for you and me. Mm. Lots of people shed their blood on the cross. But Jesus' blood was different. Yeah. And he that was, was the plan yeah. of God, you know, mm. that Jesus would come to earth as a man. Right. And that he would die on the cross mm. to shed his blood for us. Yeah. Because we were all sinners. And all that we had was unclean blood. Mm. You know, none of us could die for anybody. Mm. We were all unclean sinners. But Jesus, God sent his only begotten son, Jesus, to die for us on the cross. And through that, we receive salvation. We are able to spend eternity with God right. and even enjoy here life, mm. abundant life here on That's earth. That's good, enjoying life here on this earth. Mm. Jesus gives us and healing. healing is part of that. Yeah, and you know, He gives us healing, but He also gives our life back together. That's what I love about Jesus. Yeah. He was healing people and bringing life and hope back to them. Mm. So today we're going to kind of look at the blood of Jesus. And I want to take you to a scripture in the book of Isaiah. Let's go to Isaiah 53. Now, on the cross, we see Jesus was a curse because in those days when people were hung on a cross, they were considered cursed people. And there's a scripture in Galatians, which we'll touch on later. It says that Jesus became that curse for us. Mm. He was, you know, he was looked upon as somebody who was like a murderer, a criminal we had done something wrong. Yeah. But the truth is, we're going to see that what God was establishing <coughs> through the cross in Isaiah 53. Let's start reading from verse 3. It's talking about Jesus. It says, He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not. Verse 4 says, Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. Verse 5, For he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes we are healed. Now, Man. yeah, you know there's so much of truth in this. First of all, we see <clears throat> I don't know if you noticed, but it mentions many times that Jesus was despised. Yeah. Right? It says he was despised and it says he was rejected. Mm. Well, on the cross, that was his position. He yeah. was despised by people. He was rejected. Yeah. And, and people couldn't understand why such a good man was on the cross. You know? And he yeah. did all that for us. He did all you that know? for us. In this very scripture, there's a great exchange mm. that's mentioned. Right. You know, and like you mentioned, he was despised. Mm. And, you know, sometimes we feel, I'm despised. Mm. Well, nobody likes me. I'm rejected. Well, on the cross, Jesus was despised for you. And he was rejected for you. So yeah. that you don't have to be rejected and despised. Exactly. You can be accepted. You can be. Yeah. And, you know, if you kind of break it down and see, Jesus, according to these verses, he has carried our sickness, anxiety, mm. And these are some kind of simple meanings. He's carried our pain, which is referring to physical and mental pain, and sin and fear and torment as well. Jesus was tormented in every area of his body. You know, when they took the whip and they beat him, one blow itself caused the person to kind of just fall apart. 
because mm. it was so bad the you know the whip when when the romans hit it was not just a slight touch they really beat you so you felt the pain yeah. and jesus he carried 39 times this pain of the whip yeah. 39 times just imagine that and the last part of this verse says and with his stripes we are healed in those days when they beat people it was because they were criminals yeah. but when they beat jesus he was really doing the work of god that mm. he was bringing healing for us and on the cross yeah. he suffered every kind of sickness and disease mm. and pain and like you said anxiety yeah. and worry and all these things are things that we feel here on earth yeah yeah and all these bad things but jesus carried every single one of those mm. so that we don't have to experience those yeah. or live in those forever yeah and every stripe is represents you know some kind of sickness or disease mm. when he when they beat him he was taking either cancer or um you know some kind of a bone disease or headaches he was mm. carrying all kinds of sickness on his body that's and he why did he that just that. for you yeah he, he did, did that, that just for you because he loves you he loves you on the cross jesus said father forgive them but they know not what they're doing. Right. You know, because Jesus saw the future. Mm. He saw us coming into the kingdom of God and being healed. Yeah. And he said they don't know what they're doing because they didn't know the greater plan that God had mm. for us. So Jesus was forgiving sins by the work of the cross. And the second thing he was taking our healing or he was rather taking our sickness, sickness. so we might have healing. That's mm. why it says by his stripes we are healed. Mm. and then after that when they beat that crown of thorns on his head he was taking every kind of mental torment you could imagine anxiety fear worry depression oppression there's all kinds mm. of mental torment but jesus he carried it on <coughs> himself he became a tormented being mm. so you don't have to be tormented in your mind anymore amen and you don't have to be tormented in your body either mm. because it says with his stripes Mm. we are healed and if you if you are experiencing those kind of things you know those worries those cares those headaches you know you can say lord jesus i i i see you carried all these things on the mm. cross for me right and lord if you did that i don't have to carry them again mm. i don't have to carry them the second time if yeah. you already took them you know and what you can do is say lord i receive your healing and take it by faith and constantly say Yeah. And that's what, you know, we need to do. We need to change our way of thinking because some of these things may be new to you. You've never heard stuff like this before. Yeah. It's because, you know, we we live in a very negative world around us. And everything everybody's trying to say something. Everyone's mm. trying to push things down our throat. But what we need to do is go to the word of God and see what Jesus did on the cross. He wasn't just paying only the price for our sins. He was paying the price for our healing too. Yeah, and this scripture is so liberating. It mm. says with his stripes we are healed. Yeah, that's a good confession to make. That's something good to say. I mean, any time, yeah. you know, symptoms attack your body and you know, you feel weary and weak and all that, you say Jesus, you took stripes on your back for me. Mm. And by your stripes I am healed. It was an exchange that was taking place on the cross. Yeah. You know, he was taking sickness so you can have healing. Mm. He took the sins so was, you can have forgiveness. Yeah, he was wounded. Yeah. It says here he was wounded for our transgressions, for mm. all the law breaking that we did. We broke right. God's law in a great way. Mm. And Jesus was wounded so that we could be forgiven of that. Yeah. And then it says he was bruised or he mm. was crushed for our sins, for our iniquities, so that we can be forgiven of sins. Yeah. And then it says he was chastised or he was punished on the cross. That was a punishment that Jesus took so that we could have peace, yeah. so that we could have peace of mind and be free from worry. And then it says he, he took stripes upon his back, 39 stripes, and it says for our healing. By his stripes we are healed. Yeah, that's a good confession to make even in First Peter two twenty four it says with his stripes we were healed. Mm. That could be your start of, you know, um, healing. Understanding what healing is yeah. by saying, Lord, by your stripes I am healed. It doesn't matter what sickness it is. I know that you've carried it upon your back when you face the torment, and mm. you've carried all mental torment yeah. upon your head. And then you can say, Lord, I thank you because you took mental torment. You carried it upon yourself. I can have the mind of Christ. Amen. You know, I can have peace of mind. 
I can be free from worry and depression. Yeah. You've already carried it, so why should I carry it anymore? Yeah. I mean, seeing ourselves healed is so important. That's mm. the first step in seeing that you are healed. That's how valuable the exactly. blood of Jesus is to us. That's right. It provides us healing. Mm. You know, Galatians 3.13 and verse 14 kind of tells us what Jesus was going through on the cross. He became a curse for us, right? It says, we'll, we'll actually see that because that is really, it's such an important scripture. We've got to know what Jesus has done on the cross. It's not just an image that we see of Jesus you know, on posters and stuff. There's more to that. Yeah. Let's see what he has done for us. And and the cross wasn't a very pretty sight. No, it to wasn't. Look at. No. You know, it's not something to admire. There's some, there's a scripture that mentions that his body was like a paddy field. It was mm. it was so bad that he had no beauty on him on the cross. Mm. That's how ugly sin and sickness was. Mm. But and thank yeah. God that he took all that for us so that mm. we could, you know, go beyond the cross yeah. and enter the throne of God. Right. You know, Galatians 3.13 says, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone that hangs on a tree. And then we see verse 14 says, That the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. So Jesus Christ has bought us back. That's what the word redeem means. He bought you back from that curse and He has brought you into the blessing. Mm. And healing is truly a blessing. And Jesus had to become that curse so you can enjoy this. Yeah. I like to see it like, you know, we were kind of Barabbas. When Jesus and Barabbas were standing there and, and the people, they all wanted Barabbas at that point. And when the sentence was pronounced, yes, Barabbas, you are free. <coughs> Just imagine what he would have felt that moment. Yeah. I don't have to go through, you know, the whippings and the, the cross. Really? I'm free. Somebody else yeah. is taking my place. Yeah. That itself should bring freedom to us. Yeah. And, you know, we were kind of like Barabbas in that position. Yeah. We were kind of standing there and we were supposed to take that place on the cross yeah. because of what Adam did. We were uh, in that punishment line. was hell. Yeah. You know, and Jesus experienced all of hell mm. on the cross for us. Right. Because, you know, Adam and Eve, they made a mistake in the Garden mm. of Eden. And because of that, the rest of the human race was caught in sin. Mm. And so God had to do something about it. Yeah. And he planned all of this, you know, Jesus dying on the cross and our salvation and all that. He planned it before. Yeah. You know, it was not a surprise to God when Adam sinned. Yeah. And so, you know, Jesus dying on the cross, he experienced all of hell. Our punishment was hell, but Jesus took it for us. Praise and God today, for that. And today you can believe that God wants you free from the curse of sickness. Yeah. And take these scriptures and your first scripture could be, you know, the simple one, by his stripes I am healed. Yeah. And remember that God wants you healed and it is his will for you to enjoy life. 